Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem, this is Foundry VTT, this is our Curse of Strahd world, and we're looking at continuing to build the Death House. So in the last video, which was a little bit of a short one, we were looking at using FX Master to create our fog, but also being able to uh, effectively carve out a chunk to say, hey, no weather effects there, thank you very much, because we don't want fog in the house on this occasion. It might be times when you want weather in the house, you can do that. Um, I don't, not in this not for this purpose okay so um, what have i done between videos i played a bit with lighting so we have got all the walls and stuff um but i put some lighting around the outside quite gloomy lighting just so that we've got some kind of atmospherics here so just darkening everything down uh, and if we go and grab Haley down here we can see it's dark and gloomy on the outside in all the mists and stuff now part of the reason for this is is well apart from it's strad and everything is dark and gloomy and and fairly miserable that's how i want it to feel i also like the idea that the death house seems welcoming weirdly enough so once uh let's move Haley over once Haley comes into the house assuming the characters the players decide to light lanterns i want it to feel it's got this sort of like orangey um oil lamp kind of glow to it and you can see i've got all of these on so it actually feels like a safe place it's it's clearly not um but compared to the gloom outside now i'm going to put the lights back up for the purposes of doing the video of course um they will bring their own light sources, I am sure, but they can light those oil lamps. Now, the chances are that their light sources are going to be brighter than that. Um, they're going to have a real kind of um, a much whiter light, especially if they're using things like light spell. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that if they choose to fuel those oil lamps, they can do so. And of course, we will turn all of these lights off initially. They're not going to be on. But we do know that the characters can choose to turn these on if they want to. And I'm wondering that once the characters get in there, I might turn those outside lights on. The house does that itself. Just a little extra creepy thing. Uh, I've also noticed uh, a couple of little problems here. What's what's up with this door? Why is this blue? Closed wooden creaky. Yep, fine. As opposed to this one that's green, that is open wooden. Oh, it's because yes, of course it is. Stupid boys, because I, <laughs> I was just running around. I was running around opening doors, wasn't I? So it's not surprising that that's <laughs> that, that happened. Okay, so what do I want to do in this video then? Um, now we've got the kind of the lighting. We're only doing the ground floor. Is I want to look at the module and I want to try and align a few things to what we've got going on. So uh, Haley, get back outside, will you? That's because I've turned all the lights off now. She hasn't got her own light source. Um, so this entrance way, there's just a bit of a description there about raw iron gate, blah, 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 blah. A um, little bit of description that you can do as they go in. But of course, this bit here, this is the main hall. And I have an image for that that I want to use. Um, that was one of um, Pyrim's um, images. That I want to use for the players to view and see when they enter this room first. So I'm going to create an active tile trigger and I think this is, I know I really would like to hear your comments. A couple of people have already said when I mentioned this idea of yes they think that's a, oh, careful, um, they think that's a good way to do it, absolutely that will work. But um, happy to hear all and any suggestions about uh, ways that we potentially can do this. So I'm just putting in a tile here that is going to be invisible, the players are not going to ever see it, it's going to just be an invisible trigger. Okay so um, if I double click on this, what I do want to make sure is I don't need an image because it's going to be invisible. Um, is it an overhead tile? No, it's not. Why have I got that as an overhead tile? I don't want it to be overhead. I want them to activate it when they go in here. Uh, no animation uh, triggers levels. Uh, this is not an overhead tile. This tile will be rendered at the background elevation. To change these settings, please enable is overhead. I think that might be why, because Levels wants it to be overhead, just because that's how it deals with the different things. Should not, <laughs> should not make a difference to us, but let's find out. So under Triggers, I want this, yes, to be active. Um, any token can set it off. Um, any, yeah, I'm gonna leave it with anyone, anyone when they enter it. Um, shouldn't be when paused, because uh, we're not gonna have that. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. So there's a few actions I'm going to do here. First action I want when a 
player walks through this square is to pause the game. Okay, pause the game, stop running amok, give me a chance to describe what you see in front of you. So that's the first thing I want to do. The next thing I want to do, and this is one we haven't used before, it should be really straightforward. There's no reason why I'm going to mess this up, right? Famous last words, yeah? <laughs> is I want to find my image, uh, I want to go into my tiles uh, and choose a file and I want to show this image here. Um, and this is, I don't need that, I'm going to show it to everybody and I'm going to update that. And then what I want this to do is to, oh it's not going to like it, hang on. I want it to then deactivate this tile. Okay, so the idea is the first character, doesn't matter which one, any player character, when they walk in here, the first thing that happens is they trigger this, it pauses the game, it shows them the image, gives me a chance to give a proper description of the main hall, they can see that image for a bit of inspiration, and then it deactivates this tile so that the next person who walks across it doesn't also set it off, or otherwise it will be going off constantly uh, and then when I'm ready I can unpause the game and off they move so that's the intention <sighs> should we see if it works yeah let's grab Haley. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do I'm going to turn a few of these lights on though so Haley can see what's going on because uh, it could get a bit weird okay so Haley can wander in here and as she I want to unpause the game so the game is not paused soon as I hit that I get the image come up uh, I can move Haley in the background because I'm GM of course but it brings up this image for us and it pauses the game and that should be showing to all of the players straight away and I can describe that this wide hall runs the width of the house black marble fireplace blah 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 uh, at one end and a sweeping red marble staircase oh that's not red marble is it so I would change what I'm saying to dis to uh, to meet that of course but that's the idea. That's how I want that to work. And then I can unpause it to let them continue on their way. Now, we know that we always have this thing where for the DM, it's um, we make that active again um, for the DM. We get to see different from the player. So it's always, 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 especially when you're doing stuff with tiles and effects and things. Uh, and you guys who've been around for a while know what it's like with me and my sounds, right? You know, some of my, <laughs> some of my background sounds are ridiculously loud compared to the rest of the video. Uh, so check, 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 check. Make sure it's all good. Okay, so uh, yes, it talks about this. It's in mounted on the wall above the fireplace is a long sword, non-magical, with a windmill cameo worked into the hilt. So we could actually place a couple of items by the side of it so if they say they want to grab it we can just quickly dump it into their inventory so you can see there's an image of it just here uh, sorry I'm failing failing to brain um, there's an image of it just here but they could choose to come and pick that up so I think that's one of the things I'm going to do is just go to items it's only a long sword there's nothing special about it at all. Uh, so I'm going to grab a long sword. Uh, yeah, I can create it as an item pile. And I'm just going to dump it off to the side here so that I know if one of them decides to pick it up, I can just dump it straight into the inventory, job done. Yeah, no drama, easy peasy. Don't have to go through the SRD and find it. And it's not difficult to find, I just did it. But, you know, again, anything that cuts down on that. Um, and then I can describe it's got the windmill cameo worked into the hilt. Uh, wood panel walls are ornately sculpted with images of vines, flowers, nymphs and satyrs. Um, characters who search the walls for secret doors or otherwise inspect the panelling uh, will see serpents and skulls inconspicuously woven into wall designs. Decorative panelling, blah, 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 blah. Uh, area 2B. Where's area 2B? Uh, oh, that's this this little this little cupboard here. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, it just has some black cloaks hanging on it, so nothing exciting here. Uh, well, you know. Um, what about the den? So the den of wolves down here, uh, oak panelled room. Uh, I don't think I had an image for that. I think I've, the other one I've got is for the dining room. Um, 
so I'm just checking my other screen. I've got one for the dining room, but I haven't got one for the den. Um, might see if I can find one, but I don't think I need it. Uh, two cabinets stand against the walls, one here, one here. Um, holds heavy crossbow, light crossbow, hand crossbow. So again, I'm going to do the same and just have these. Yeah, I'm just going to have these over here. So there's a hand crossbow, a heavy crossbow, and a light crossbow, I think it was. Uh, yeah, heavy, light, hand crossbow, and bolts. The crossbow bolts, we can stick those out as well. No problem. So it's just these items are just sitting there, not doing anything. All I need to do is drag and drop them onto the character sheet if they decide to pick them up. There's a little, little bit of OCD there. Let me sort that out. <laughs> and a deck of playing cards. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Have we just got cards? Playing card set. There we go. So we're going to dump that out there as well. So again, if that's what they decide to do, I've just realised that the way I've put these, you can't necessarily read which is which. The hand and light crossbow look almost exactly the same. So let's sort those out. So these are just some items that they might find if they're searching around here. Um, but it talks about trapdoor hidden in the southwest corner. Uh, uh, hidden in the southwest corner. It can't be detected or opened until the characters approach it from the underside. So until then, the Death House supernaturally hides the trapdoor. All right, so we forget about that. Don't need to do anything with it. Uh, next is talking about the kitchen and pantry. That's what's up here. Um, just for the sake of the video, let's put some lights on for you. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit brighter. Um, so the kitchen just talks about it. in fact it's being tidy and everything else. Food in the pantries appears fresh, but tastes bland. I mean, you know, it's the death house if they're going to go around making, you know, snacking on the food. Interesting. Uh, the dumb waiter is a little bit down here that we've talked about before. I've just realised. Look where my light is. Get on there. That's going to annoy me otherwise. Yeah, all my lights are slightly off. Why are my lights slightly off? That's worrying because that suggests I've done something with the tile that was wrong. Yeah, my lights were. Oh, yeah, I've got to be careful of that. Thank you very much. Are they all back where they should be? Yes, that's better. I accidentally shifted the tile. Uh, again, won't be doing that in normal play because I won't have all these things switched on. Uh, right, so it talks about the dumbwaiter. That's where we were, which is over here. Uh, behind a small door, southwest corner, is a dumbwaiter, two foot wide, with a box. Shaft can, connects to area 7A, the servants' quarters, 12A, the master bedroom. Hanging on the wall next to the dumbwaiter is a tiny brass bell attached by wires. A small character can squeeze into the elevator. Uh, the dumbweighted rope and pulley mechanism can support 200 pounds of weight before breaking. So the question is, is do we want to put an active tile trigger that if they go on it, it will take them to the next floor? I'm going to say no. And the reason why I'm saying no is the fact that it's um, one only small creatures can go into it. They've got to make a check to actually fit in it. It's going to require the other players to pull the rope for them, etc. So it's not going to... It's, we don't want it... You know, character walks onto it and suddenly gets teleported. That's, that's not the way this is. It's not like a ladder where they go, oh, well, you walked on the ladder, of course you wanted to climb it, sort of thing. So I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay. Uh, dining room. Now, we have um, two different doors in the dining room. So we're going to create an active tile trigger. I just want to be careful how I do this, create my tile. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it like this. So regardless of whether they come in the left door or the right door, because they can come in either way, once they get here and they can actually see it, this is when it's going to trigger. So we're going to do the same as we did before. Um, I'm going to make it basically invisible not going to bother with an image, I don't need to. Uh, it is defaulting to an overhead tile because of levels. Yeah, little thing we learned, I learned. <laughs> don't need to mess with that. Uh, active, yes. Tokens, controlled by anyone, enter it, absolutely. Uh, triggered by that, that's all good. Our actions again are going to be... Come on, say it with me. 
Uh, not game time. <laughs> oh dear. Game, uh, pause game. There we go. We're going to pause game. We are going to show image. Oh dear. Uh, show image. There we go. And we want to select our image. Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, and I need to upload this one. There it is, our dining room. Uh, select that lovely jubbly uh, and I'm going to show that to everyone and then we are going to again just click off of that activate deactivate this tile going to deactivate it okay so again update that and we should be good to go uh, just want to check that that is a hidden tile yep no problem right where are you Haley? so Haley's down here oh we get this one brilliant yeah brilliant unpause the game off she goes continues exploring when she comes through this door she can see the dining room and there is our image and then we can talk about um, we can talk about the dining room you know the centerpiece of the blah 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 blah, blah, blah. wall panelings covered with elegant images silverware tarnish uh, tarnishes the crystal cracks the portrait fades the tapestry rots if removed from the house etc brilliant uh, and weirdly enough just having a quick look um was there anything about the uh, yeah the kitchen and pantry is all fine? That's it. That is it for the first floor. There's no encounters. There's no traps. I mean, there's a there's a trap door that they can't even access. There's a couple of items that they can grab if they search the place. They can ransack the house, but it just looks like a decent condition if abandoned um, home. Lovely. We're done. So I'm not going to move on to do the next level in this video. In the next video, we will do the first floor, probably second floor for those in the US who uh, name them differently. We're going to do the first floor in the next one, and there's a bit more into that. We need to do the lights up there as well, copy and paste what we've got, make sure we've got our walls correct, uh, and all of that stuff. Uh, lovely jubbly, but it's coming together. We are getting there. Uh, and then obviously the video after that will most likely be the third floor and the video after that most likely the attic. Ooh, good stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment if you've got ideas, things you think I should do differently or you've got comments on the way that I've done things um, that you like it or don't like it, leave that. Remember, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Very much appreciate it. And many thanks to those few people who've already um, using my uh, coffee link in the description have bought me a cup of tea. That's very much appreciated. Thank you guys. You take care.